Hi, everybody. I'm May, the co-founder of Writer, an AI writing platform for teams. We are doing a series of tutorial videos with Jimmy from Superpath to teach folks how best to use Writer for content acceleration. Uh, next, May, we're going to talk about generating banner copy. It sort of falls into this other area like that we mentioned earlier where content marketers sometimes get this type of thing thrown on their plate and they're like, eh, I could probably do it. I'm not an expert. Anyways, Writer's really amazing and much faster way to create banner copy. I would imagine, especially if you're going to be doing a B tests and things like that. Um, but would love if you could walk us through how it actually works in the product. Well, let's walk through the, uh, custom template we built for banners for our great customers over at Intuit. And these folks, like uh, lots of other folks, are trying to cross promote products um, to each other. They have got a number of products um, uh, under the Intuit umbrella and even within QuickBooks, a number of products, sub products within QuickBooks. So these banners are an H1, an H2, and a CTA that in addition to character limits, actually also have to comply with other guidelines for um, uh, for uh, uh, the content that's in them, you know, non-gerund verbs and the CTAs and other things that can be hard to uh, remember and kind of slow down the writing. And so um, what they decided to do is build a fun template here, um, uh, a Hello Box template. Um, and you can see under product name, you get to choose between what product you are trying to promote. Um, each one of these has been trained on data um, that they have provided for previous banners that they have um, used. And so let's use uh, let's use payments, for example. Um, the key value prop um, is going to be, let's call it um, get paid instantly. Um, and you know, let's have a try now kind of CTA. Um, and what they wanted was to be able to present the writer with actually a number of options, so we're going to see that in a second, based on the product they're trying to do um, and the, um, the value prop they're trying to um, uh, get, get in there. And so you can see here we've got a headline, get paid instantly with QuickBooks payments, subhead try now and get paid faster than ever before, and the CTA is try now because I actually I, I put in try now here in the, in the inputs. Um, get paid faster, fastest way to get paid, get pay, paid instantly, fastest way to get paid, try now and get paid faster than ever before. So, you know, different combinations of the, the H1 and, and the H2. Um, and as we talked about um, in one of our previous sessions around temperature, um, so they have definitely played around. This is just one of the, the, the model iterations. They've played around with the temperature for, for this one, for like how creative do I want to get from what the input um, from the input that the user gave me. So these are all about speed because, you know, I want speed as the, as the value prop. Super cool. When you build the template, can you, can you say like, every time I provide an input, give me five options? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, that's really interesting. Or 10. Yeah. A lot of like headlines is give me 10 options. Um, ads tends to be, you know, three to five. Now in hot, high volume plays, like when folks are trying to call hundreds, um, they're actually using the API. And so we use the UI to get people really comfortable with the output and like what inputs do I want for the output? Um, and then actually they're like sticking us right into um, a, a CMS or, you know, an ERP or wherever they are serve, excuse me, serving the content up. Um, now this is, this is copy into Figma. And so this is actually like, you know, quite bespoke in terms of like, you need a human typing in there and the API is not that valuable. Um, uh, and from a volume perspective, you know, any individual writing writer is doing a few dozen at a time. Um, wow. and so it makes more sense to do, um, to do it straight from the UI. Um, yeah. but still, you know, a few dozen banners is actually like, that's a week of work that is now, you know, kind of, uh, come down to six hours of work. Yeah. That's really interesting. Having worked there and having had the chance to work with the web team who's responsible for all the stuff that happens before you're logged in and then the product folks who are responsible for all this stuff once you are logged in if you're seeing ads on a quickbooks property it's no accident like they're very very awesome. well thought out and it's a pretty sophisticated yeah. setup right so like they know for example that like when a customer starts by using the accounting product that like the next two things they should offer might be like financing and payroll or in you know what i mean i i don't know the yep. data any longer but um, yeah. it's pretty interesting. And then at the scale that they operate, it just makes sense. Like you've got to try lots of different variations. You'll collect lots of data. You can feed it back into the system. Um, and this is really cool because definitely there's a hang up, uh, when it comes time to like, okay, we need dozens of variations of ads and copy for each to be able to just do it like that is such a huge time saver. And to be honest, I actually think that 
when people sit down and try to write tens, dozens of these things, like the creativity level actually drops significantly yeah. as you go. It's actually totally. much better to just let the AI just, just do it because it doesn't hit that like fatigue point that people hit. Yeah, totally. And we actually, this is not like the why folks um, adopt writer. It's really about speeding up the productivity of the folks that they have dramatically. Um, but we actually do see uh, increases in, in conversion rates as a result of just having a more consistent level of, of output and yeah. the person having more energy, right? To like actually like give it their best creative spin kind of across everything that they need to do um, versus like, you know, sometimes a, the steep um, uh, fall off, right? When um, you've, you've got to do hundreds of these a month. Yeah, that's tough. One, one quick question about the templates. Does writer build templates or can the customer come in and build templates? How does that work? Yeah, so it is getting WYSIWYG into um, the, the front end. Um, we've got a WYSIWYG like back end that our CSMs use. Um, so it's actually not very technical. Um, and you know, there's like, a lot of NLP depth that's underneath um, that allows us to um, abstract away things like character counts and the number of versions oh, wow. you want and give me an example of like what you mean by this. Um, and so there is a, a dashboard that over time we will make um, visible to folks. But, you know, most customers just, you know, give us an example of what they want and, you know, it gets built into their tool. Really cool. Really, really cool. Um, okay, cool. Love it. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about generating a different type of copy, uh, this time for press releases. So longer form, still super important. So let's jump over to that one and we'll see you over there. Okay, cool. There you go. Thank you so much, May, and your team over at Rider for being such a great partner to us at Superpath. You're building an awesome product. We really appreciate you spending time to help us get up and running with it. And frankly, your support is what helps us keep this community free. So we really are grateful for that. For those watching, if you do want to learn more and give Writer a try, go to writer.com. Uh, there's a couple of different plans you can choose from. There's also a free tier if you just want to kick the tires. So writer.com, thanks so much for watching and thanks so much to the team at Writer for your support. Take care, everybody.